Welcome back guys, this is part two. This car has been sitting around for more than 10 months, so almost a year, and uh, nitro power. So my friend, he gave up, he sold it to me, very, very, very cheap, so I did change the glow plug. But if you're having a problem, difficulty, that your nitro engine does not start, and you're new in the hobby, it could be any reason. But anyways, today I'm gonna show you the things that I did and what I did, and as you can see, let me show you a little clip. This thing does not want to start. So here goes. I can feel it. Now that you saw that, this nitro engine does not want to start. So I want to tell you a few things. The only reason why your nitro engine won't start is because you haven't properly diagnosed it, all right? So, diagnosing this thing is very easy. Number one, make sure you have fuel. So make sure you fill up your tank. Number two, make sure you prime it. I have a filter here, but what you wanna do is you wanna pull on this pulley and put your finger right here. What that's gonna do is gonna build the pressure into the tank and push, you can see the fuel going into the line. Make sure your engine is tuned. So if you, don't, if you haven't tuned your engine properly, Make sure you tune it properly. You got the high needle over here. And then we do have a low needle on the opposite side right in here. And uh, then there's a third uh, idle needle, which uh, this is properly tuned. And uh, I might have to make some adjustment. But anyways, what I want you to do is you, you to do this, make sure your tuning is good. Make sure it's getting fuel. And uh, make sure your glow plug is good. Make sure this is charged. Number one issue is your glow plug starter is not charged, okay? Then another thing you're gonna do is you're gonna flood the engine. So I'm gonna show you how to unflood the engine. So what you wanna do is, you wanna get a couple of tools and follow my steps. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let's move some of this stuff out of the way. And right now, we got our electronics is off on this and First thing you want to do is you want to make sure you pull out your glow plug. We're going to test this glow plug. I mean, this is a brand new glow plug, but here it is what your glow plug. Make sure it's going to be nice and hot, so make sure you don't burn yourself. So let's take a look at this glow plug before we do anything else. It'll be tough for me to put this guy into that little gap. So make sure you test your glow plug. Let me get this perfectly fine. You see that? It's nice and red and shiny. Look at that. That's how it should be. Okay, so our glow plug is perfect. So what you want to do is, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to take my tool. So first, we want to un, um, unflood the engine. So make sure, there's a little O-ring in there, so make sure you cast that properly on there. So what I want to do is, well, it is already loose. So all you do is, you take your tool, you put a ratchet on top, you loosen this up a little bit, and just give it a few pulls, it's gonna push out all the stuff, all the extra fuel in there, so that's how you can unflood it. And also what I like to do is, I like to put my glow plug on top, and start it, and then you can use this to loosen and tighten, loosen and tighten, okay? That's one way that I do it. And once you unplug your, uh, un uh, unflood your engine, let's tighten this slowly. We're gonna put this bad boy on the floor. Okay, now we know our engine is not flooded, okay? Make sure you have fuel pressure. I have a pump here, so what I like to do is I like to bring it right there and leave it right there. My engine should start up really good. Make sure your controller is, has good battery. Make sure the battery pack on the RC on your car is uh, on your buggy, chuggy, is charged up. So we're gonna put this on the floor next. All right, boys and girls, so check this out. This truck's been sitting for a long, long time. So we got our glow plug igniter. We got our controller. Let's fire up the controller. Power's on. And let's fire up the RC electronics. There you go. So I might not have a good amount of fuel yet, but a few pulls, it might just crank up really good. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. So you want to give it a good pulse, okay? I can feel this guy. He wants to come on. There you go. Woo! 
It's gonna cut off, of course, because our fuel might not be perfect yet. So. Then I cut off, it's all good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave my glow plug on for a little bit. There you go guys, so as you can see yesterday this bad boy did not want to start, that was the part that wants to check that out and I got this bad boy jumping and cranking and starting up like it's a brand new shirt out of the box, still need to work with a little bit of tuning but tuning is you always got to do tuning, don't worry about that, if you're going out there in the park you're going to have to do tuning there. You go to another park from there, you're going to have to do tuning again, it all depends on your weather, climate, the uh, Uphill, downhill, whatever you are, where are you at? Anyways, thank you for watching. Those are a few tips. So make sure you prime it. Make sure your tuning is good. If you don't know how to tune, check out other videos I have. Uh, I still got to post some videos. And make sure your glow plug is good. Most common thing is this thing is not charged up. When you're testing it, it's charged up. It shows you, but then it dies. And then your engine never cranks in. So if this is good, your glow plug is good, your fuel is in there. And your engine is tuned, this thing should not have problems starting. But check this out again. We'll start it again one more time. Well, most of some of the fuel might just give came out. Uh, it probably is lack of a fuel with fuel right now. Alright, lack of fuel a little bit. Because when you close it, it, it eliminates some of the fuel. There you go. guys I'll hopefully help you guys out so unflood your engine check your glow plug and check your igniter and all should be good to go thank you for watching see you guys on the next one